Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right. So this morning, our morning reading will be coming from Galatians 5, verses 14 and 15. But of course, in on this week, we are discussing living life without offense. Living life without offense, all right? You know, as I was meditating on some things, you know, the Lord just, you know, revealed to me to tell his people to exercise themselves, to live a life free of offense. God wants you living free of offense, all right? He said there are coming many opportunities to get offended. <laughs> now that they're coming by, Lord, for a lot of us, it's here, all right? But exercise and discipline yourself not to receive the offense, all right? Of course, one definition of offense or to be offended means to cause to stumble and fall away. That's the objective of offense is to cause you to stumble, to fall away, to stop your progress, all right? And we saw yesterday Jesus said that as long as you're in the earth, offenses are sure to come. He says it's impossible but that offenses will come. The opportunity to get offended will come. And not just some of us, all of us, all right? People are people and things happen. There are misunderstandings, uh, uh, things said, or uh, just all kind of different stuff. Stuff happens, my God, all right? The Amplified calls offenses what? Temptations, snares, and traps. Why? Because they come to stop your progress. But as we shared on yesterday, don't fall for the trap. Don't you get caught up in that offense. My God, don't you receive it. My Lord, you stay in love and you keep on going forward in it with the Lord. Amen? Amen, my God. So let's read Galatians 5, verse 14 and 15. It says, For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love your neighbor as thyself. Verse 15 says, But if you bite and devour one another, take heed, that you be not consumed one of another. Again, but if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one of another, right? So again, look at what offense and unforgiveness does to a person. It consumes you. Oh my God. It Offense consumes you, okay? Uh, it's on your mind all day all the time. My God, you go throughout your day. It's on your mind. Uh, you go to bed. It's on your mind. You wake up. It's on your mind. It's a part of your everyday, all day life. My God, you're meditating on it. And you're thinking about it. How could they do me like that? And, and what did I do to deserve this? And it consumes you. It's on your mind all day long, all right? Anybody come close to you, guess what you're doing? You're talking about it. Girl, can you can you, uh, can you imagine they treating me like this? How do you, I mean, you just, it's just always, I mean, my God, it's like, you know, the Bible's out of the butter, so the heart and the mouth speaks. Anybody get close to you, what's happening? You're talking about it. Why? You're consumed by this offense, my God. And you just got to let others know how you feel. You're upset and, and you're offended. You're mad. They shouldn't have treated you like this. How dare they treat you like this? All kind of different stuff. What is it? Man, that thing consumes you, my God, all right? It consumes you. It swallows you up. It engulfs your, engulfs your life. And, and here you got the Lord trying to talk to you and lead you and help you, my God. But you ain't hearing none of that. Why? Because you are consumed and engulfed by the offense. Don't allow the offense to consume you. Don't be engulfed by offense. Don't receive it, my God, as we share. Stay in love. Exercise yourself not to get offended, my God, that you're not going to allow this thing to consume your life and stop your progress. Amen? Amen. Let's go ahead and take communion this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you, Father. Father, we thank you for this new day and another opportunity given to us to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. And for that, we say thank you, Lord. We take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, everything you've done, everything you're doing was for us. You was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace, our complete wholeness, spirit, soul, and body was upon you. 
with and by your stripes. We were healed, therefore we are healed. And we're healed right now from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. We do this in remembrance of you. And we discern your body right now. We take the bread, we eat all of it. Bless you, Lord. Hmm. Bless you, Father. And we take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy and blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love, all of our sins, all of them, past, present, future sins, all forgiven, never to remember again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. For that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your blood. We take the cup of the blessing. We drink all of it. Hmm. Saying thank you, Jesus. All right. So don't be consumed. You know, you know, we are just taking uh, communion. And uh, I was hearing the Holy Spirit say, I desire to commune with you and offense desires to consume you. Hear it again. I'm desiring to commune with you. But offense comes to what? Consume you. And when offense consumes you, guess what? You're not communing, communing with the Lord. You're not hearing from him. Why? Because you are so distracted and consumed and engulfed with the offense, all right? Don't be swallowed up, my God. Don't, don't allow offense to engulf your life, amen? Amen, my God. Let's get our healing confession on this morning. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. My body is blessed and in good health. Lord, I thank you that you have taken all sicknesses, all diseases, infirmities, and pains away from me. I am healed. I am whole. Healing and divine health are flowing through all my system. I am walking in divine health. My body is energized, strong, renewed, and restored to perfect health. Amen? Amen. To that, we say, I agree. Amen. Bless God. So, Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Thank you, Father, for this new day and another opportunity, Father, you've given to us. Father, we thank you for all you have in store for each and every one of us. I shout grace, grace right now to every household. Father, I thank you for every need of every household is met in full with abundance and more than enough. I speak peace. To every household, we bind all strife, division, discord, divorce. We curse it all. We lose unity and oneness, Father. And for all those who need healing, health, and strength in their bodies, Father, I thank you that you are the Lord our God to heal of us. And you have healed them all. And you are included in the all. Amen? Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. Thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. Everybody have a great day on today. Full of God's favor and blessing. Amen? Amen. Love you guys. Have a good one.